Hi everyone and welcome back to the April 1v1 tournament for Warno. Today we have Dark Neutron versus Ski Dark Neutron playing on the right hand side of the map in red as the 8th infantry division and over on the other side of the map we have Ski playing in blue as the 5th panzer division, the West Germans. Let's get this show on the road. I'll hide this panel. So once again for Ski we're seeing that anti-airplane coming out early doors just scouting. Units wise, lots of reinforcements here. I assume they will be going to Alpha rather than Charlie. Ski pushing up a couple of squads. Oh, a Lux and a squad of Scout Infantry there. More Scouts and a few reinforcements for Dark Neutron pushing into Charlie. Where are these units going? They're going a, a funny way around the map. They are definitely going to Alpha, though. They're just going a funny way about it. Ski already there with his reinforcements, including some Jeopards for air defense. And is that a couple of tanks? Yep, a Leopard 1A1A1s. Both players immediately securing their side positions for calling in reinforcements. Now, Ski, very little at this side. He had those scout units. He's still got one here, but has lost the looks. There's a looks up there. There's a Jaeger right over there. And there's a Leopard 1A1A1 1A1 just coming up to that side. A couple of Leopards coming in here. The Jeopard sticking at the back. Dark Neutron taking a long time to get these units in, to be honest. I would have hoped they were already up here. Bringing this many in from this side. Risky, perhaps? I, planning to go through the forest, I guess along this way and then up and round but who knows we will see over at this side of the map just selling stuff nothing defending this unit and ski not defending his command unit either interestingly I was expecting to see more defense of these command units on this map that are sitting in these back points and it just hasn't happened for the most part I know it did the other day with Derek, but yeah, it's not happening on a regular basis. It's certainly something I'll be trying to cover with even just a man pad team or something. Something to give you a little bit of early warning if it's going to get attacked. So this is interesting. We've got a CV coming in for Charlie, which makes sense. CV command tank coming in for Ski there, which will be heading to Alpha. Ski is bringing in the odd unit at that side now, obviously planning to eventually push into Charlie. The real question is what happens with these units here. Lots of Pioneer Flam and a Pioneer Umbrus there. A tank behind. Going up against Mech Rifles, Mech Rifles Law, Jaeger and another Mech Rifles Law. Stinger I guess for Anti-Chopper. Abrams coming in at this side. Interesting place to put the CV, right in the centre of the town. Good point and bad point. Firstly, people don't necessarily think you're going to put it there. It's usually in one of these tree lines at the back. However, it's the first place that's going to get bombed if someone wants to bomb the town before they move in their own infantry. So, yeah, um, risky place to put it. Sensible that it's away from the usual points, but still risky. Very curious who's going to come out on top in this little fight down here. These mech rifles. Pack a punch. They do pack a punch. You'll notice that they've changed again. From having a single N249 to having three once they start opening fire. Oh, and they are running scared. Look at them run away from those pioneer flams. Wow, look at the damage. They're routed. They're almost dead. Wow. Very low on ammo. He needs to resupply those. I do see a supply truck coming in. Hopefully it is going there. Hitchy Bomber coming in now. Hitchy Bomber taking fire. Hitchy Bomber did kill one squad if they weren't already dead. That was the arm bust. But the Pioneer Flams are alive and well. Up here at Charlie, we can see Ski preparing for an assault. Bringing in some Rolands. 
Leopards. That was an interesting engagement. I didn't know quite what was going to happen, but I'm very impressed once again with the uh, Pioneer Flams, those Hand Flam Patron, the Shotgun Flamethrowers. Very, very good. A lot of reinforcements coming in this side for Dark Neutron now. I'm not sure how effective pushing through this forest is going to be with those Flam Patron there. Would it be easier to push across this gap with a bit of smoke is my question. Pioneer Ambush pushing forward there, just forcing Dark Neutron's recon further back. This area firmly in control of skis, bringing in lots of Zisharungs. Obviously good against infantry, not good against vehicles, but obviously great for sticking in a town and pushing through a town. You know, when you're not relying on the flamethrowers. Dark Neutron still building up forces here. What was that? Is that tank getting a shot off at something? Yes, just one of the little vehicles escaping. There we go. Reinforcement of those Flam Patron and another Flam Patron coming in and another one there. I would not want to be pushing infantry through there. That's four squads of Flam Patrons. You will get ripped to shreds. Kiwa coming in the Scout Chopper, obviously with its lovely Hellfire missiles. Not to be underestimated, Hellfire's very good. Okay, Ski is making a move. He is pushing tanks forward. And pulling them immediately back when he sees those rockets coming. Oof. Plenty of fire coming out from those mech rifles. And he has lost that tank. These tanks getting plenty of shots off on those Jäger Alpha Call. Their weapons were not turned off. Probably would have been better if they had been. As they wouldn't have been spotted quite so soon. Mech rifles coming in down the centre there to try and deal with this little cluster. Good use of supply by both players. I see Dark Neutron's got some there as well. Just looking at what reinforcements are coming in. We've got a Raven coming in there. Good choice. He's obviously spotted those Rolands at some point. Are they turned on? They are. That's strange. They didn't fire and the Raven didn't fire at them. Firing at that chopper instead. He must be turning them on and off. He must be surely because that Raven should have opened fire. Yeah, on hold fire, he's controlling them. Ski is indeed controlling them. That's what I'd expect to see from someone like Ski. And as soon as it turns around... Nah, he wasn't watching. I thought he'd turn it back on. He must know it's flying around up there. I'm surprised he hasn't called in his anti-airplane. Oof. That Roland... They're getting killed by that Kiowa. Really good unit. We've got another fight going on down here. Oh, look at that. A line of four Flamper Thrones. And you got Dark Neutron moving the odd squad up. Look at the state of those two. That one's almost dead. That one's routed. I mean, he's got Flash coming up now, but... What's the range on the Flash? I always forget. 530 meters versus 530 so they have the same range but the flam patrons have more squad members and there are four squads of them so i don't i don't think that uh, dark neutrons in a good position down there up here there's been a bombing run there must have been from Dark Neutron's side. But Ski still has units coming in. He's still got a couple of tanks there. Two, two air threes. Calling in something to repair those. Still an M1 Abrams there. But it's just kind of sat at the back. A 1A5 and a 1A1A1. A1A1, and Zisharungs. Won't be very much use versus this tank that's in the middle of the town there. He's just got Zisharungs there at the moment. But realistically, Ski has a foothold in this point. 
and there it is command tank coming in 105 that will move in and neutralize the point which will push things into skis favor even more big fight going on down here with the infantry now i'll just zoom out so it's not quite so loud for me but yeah four squads of flam patrons are winning Dark Neutron is running his units away. He's lost most of his squads. Yeah, four squads of those guys. The amount of people they have in them just completely outmatched Dark Neutron's forces there. Without bombarding with planes or artillery or something, he wasn't getting through there. No chance. He would have been better pushing across here because then he would have only been fighting against Zisharungs and vehicles would have been very useful. But this is, you know, nicely spread out, well defended by Ski. Here we've got lots of clustering of units at the back of this point by Dark Neutron as he tries to fend off Ski pushing in. But let's be honest, Ski is in there now. He's going to be hard to dislodge. Lots of bombers would help, but realistically I think he's spending most of his stuff on ground forces. An F-16C fighting Falcon in there has done some damage to that AA plane. Is it going to finish the job? Yes, it is. Roland's getting some shots off at the Fighting Falcon, though. But that's evacing. Now, isn't that interesting? This is that thing again where one side brings in reinforcements and pushes the other one out, and then the other side brings in reinforcements and pushes the other one out. This is maybe a little bit more stalemated. HE Bomber coming in there very effective managed to kill that tank not to be underestimated got an armbrust there which will be very effective against this abrams that abrams wants to get the heck out of there so this is an interesting situation so i would have expected before these jaegers arrived and all these pioneers that are coming in that dark neutron would have pushed ski back far enough to force that tank out or destroy it unfortunately he's not in that position Ski has already got his reinforcements here. Now, Ski is coming in a little bit piecemeal, in my opinion. However, realistically, when you actually zoom in, there aren't that many squads. They're quite clustered. So, you could do with those pioneers running up this way. Look at these Jaegers. The damage they will be outputting is pretty good. Don't underestimate the MG3. It's a pretty, pretty nice weapon. But I mean, you know, as I say, a bit piecemeal. He is going to lose his Jaegers. They're doing a little bit of damage, but really he needs these Pioneers in. Over here, I mean, Ski's kind of forgot about those guys need reinforcing, but Dark Neutron is not getting in that way. I mean, he's bringing in more Pioneer, more Engineers Flash, sorry, but I just don't think they're going to be enough. They're not going to do what needs doing, basically. Neither player scouting. There's an alouette there, but no effort to scout where that command vehicle is. MW1 coming in. This could be devastating if it hits correctly. Not bad. Not the best drop I've ever seen, but it did kill a couple of squads. These pioneers should now come in and do a lot of damage. I mean, the thing with pioneers is one of the most effective ways to use them, it seems, is just to charge them through a town. And they just throw their satchel charges left, right and centre and do a huge amount of damage. Perhaps there's some argument that they should be stationary when they throw those satchel charges. Should they be able to throw them on the move? Debatable in a game like this. But they can indeed, in motion, still have 90% accuracy, which is meaningless when they have such a massive blast radius. But pioneers have cleared out the infantry. Jaeger yeah, Alpha coming in, Leopard 2 a 3 is coming in there. They are going to stop a lot of reinforcements coming down that road if they can keep eyes on. I think Dark Neutron is in a very bad position at this stage. I mean, points-wise, you know, Ski's got a long way to go. But unless Dark Neutron can push through somewhere, clusters, clusters, HE bombers... I feel like Dark Neutron is concentrating a lot of firepower on Charlie to hold it. But realistically, I almost wish he was using all of those bombers 
on Alpha so you could push in here. I mean, a couple of HE bombers to kill these guys, hopefully, would allow his infantry to come through. Could have killed the tank that was there with the cluster. I mean, the tank's dead now anyway, and the tank there's dead, but you know what I mean? Just as if there was there was more he could do to push into Alpha, and realistically, Ski doesn't have a lot there. And that's what we're seeing in a couple of these matchups. Whoever's on the left side of the map where Ski is, not putting too much into Alpha, but enough to hold it, so to speak. And then the other team being too scared to push into it. And for me, as I've said multiple times, this is the easy point to get in because everything is so close. There are trees there. Just a little bit of smoke and you're in the point. Whereas this one I feel is harder to attack. And I'm constantly impressed by people pushing through this way because I genuinely think this is a harder point to attack from any side. Larger reinforcements coming in for Dark Neutron. And this is the point now. Both players completely focused on this point. Ski has a very firm control of it. I honestly don't think that at this stage, Dark Neutron can recap this point. And the amount of points that Ski is spending on controlling that, he's got very little in there. And there's the surrender. And that is a total victory for Ski. Dark Neutron surrendering there. Well played to both players. Obviously, slightly more kills from Ski's side in the grand scheme of things. But, you know... It's such a shame that people are becoming very focused on that other point and people are forgetting about Alpha. But let's move on to the next game. Hi everyone and welcome back to game number two. Ski vs Dark Neutron. Ski on the right hand side this time still playing as the 5th Panzer and Dark Neutron still playing as the 8th Infantry but on the left in blue now. Ski with his usual tactic of bringing out an early anti-airplane. What are we seeing here? So we've got plenty of units coming in towards Alpha. We've got command vehicles heading to Echo and Delta straight away. Fighting Falcon coming in there, I assume. Initially planning to go for that, but that has been evac'd. Recon, oh, pretty close. A nice Bradley there. Always good recon, the Bradley. Very good unit. Down here, we have some very far forward Jaeger Alpha call. Just having a wee look. Zisharung's coming in, Leopard. Ski sending plenty of stuff towards Alpha. Doesn't want that to be uh, completely in the hands of Dark Neutron, I think. Ski already in control of Charlie, as would be expected on this map. And some forward units there in terms of recon just to hold back the tide from Dark Neutron. Jeopard the Leopards. Build up of forces already. I think, you know, the, the plan from Ski would hopefully be to push in this point. We've not seen many people try that. But I'd hope we're going to see someone try it. I'm going to zoom out slightly to keep an eye on the entire map. Not a lot of movement up here. Mostly a little battle down here, which I say is not something we've seen very much, but I expected to see a lot of was fighting over Alpha. Certainly an attempt by Ski to push forward here. Well positioned, those Abrams M1s, managing to shoot down that main road into these infantry and things. Cluster Bomber coming in there, going for those tanks. Has missed as the tanks have moved. Would have been quite devastating, probably. If they hadn't, good use of forces there. HE Bomber coming in from Dark Neutron now. Going to hit all those forces there. Oh, a couple of squads died there. A little bit late on the AA response. Units-wise, few reinforcements heading in here for Ski. Main fight still going on down here. Those tanks being very effective at holding back the tide, shall we say, along with the help from the bomber. I'm quite impressed by the fact that those guys can fight down that main road. I've never really thought about it before, but they do have a perfect line of sight straight through the centre of town. And they're even managing to fire over some of the buildings that way at these other units. They are taking fire from the... 
1A1A1. But it is dead. The Abrams obviously outmatches it. There's also mech rifles there and things. I think Dark Neutron has held off this little push. Well done the Dark Neutron. I'm really impressed he held that off. Admittedly, Zishirungs aren't the best thing to be pushing up there, especially with no smoke cover. But those tanks... Really well placed. Really impressed with those M1 Abrams. They did a really good job. Very, very impressed. Leopard 2A3 coming in there. Jaeger Alphacol coming in. Some repair stuff. Not a lot happening at this point. Neither player really bringing in any more units. The focus is indeed on Alpha. Not much left from Ski's initial attacking force. Still has a tank there, but that's been brought up. The Leopard 2A3 will be very effective. Managed to kill some infantry in a vehicle there, I think. Well positioned on the 2A3. Obviously, that can see down the road as well. Plenty of Jaeger coming in here. Where they're going to is up for debate. That's taken a lot of damage, that M1 Abrams. That one as well. Wow. They lasted out. They really did last out. Uh, all these units just being got out at those buildings. I thought they might have been charged into the town. Oh, cluster bomber coming in. Where's it dropping? Oh, on that tank. Didn't actually do anything to that. Oh, wow. The other player was disconnected. I don't think that was a surrender from Ski. I think he is actually disconnected from the game. So that is that is a, a victory to Dark Neutron in this. I mean, in fairness, he had double the kills for early in the game, but we didn't get to see Ski fight back. Wow. That's, that's, that's got to be the record for the shortest game in the tournament so far. So that was a disconnect. So I think the rules are that they... Uh, either it's... A f I need to double check the rules, but either it's a flat, that's it. Dark Neutron has won, or there can be a debate between them, and Dark Neutron can decide if he wants to replay the match. But yeah, that was a disconnect. That's unexpected. Okay. So, one game to each player in this. That was... That was very sudden. Okay. Well, thanks for watching these two games. Obviously the first one, pretty much a standard game. This one, completely different. At least we finally saw someone fighting over Alpha. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing a few more games that are like that. Thanks for watching everyone. Please stay tuned for the rest of the week. I'll be covering some more of these games.